Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a bit of a dashboard review here, just just more stepping, you know, stepping stepping back with what you're doing in Power BI and just thinking a bit more holistically about what you can achieve in certain analytical scenarios that you might be dealing with. In this particular example, I want to really dive into some advertising and campaign analysis, right, and just look at some of the nuances around. Uh, what this data sort of looks like and how you can analyze it in Power BI. Now, this is actually uh, a part of our showcase, so I'll just I'll just quickly navigate to that. Um, so if I just jump into showcase. So you can actually play around with this model, right, if you go to the Enterprise DNA Showcase. And you know what, what we specialize in you know, is, is just the, the variety around, you know, the examples of high quality development around a whole range of different things right so so we've got advertising campaigns here and so you know a bit more now i i, I just want to dive into all of the great things that that you can do with power bi because we are trying to represent that in many different ways and in, in many different initiatives that we're running okay so let's focus in on sort of marketing here so if you're sort of working in marketing or you're you know every business does marketing right they all do some sort of advertising some sort of marketing um you know it's 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 it's, it's a crucial part of, of of any business any you know getting getting sales getting revenue right and so you want to make sure that you are actually evaluating how you are performing over time and that's what this particular dashboard is all about right so what we can do here, and we'll look at the data set in just a second, is we can look at, this is this is sort of demo data, historic data, but we can look at how we've gone historically on, say, campaigns that we're running, right? This You can see here that the data is a little bit old, but uh, we have been able to break down our campaigns, like our advertising campaigns over time, based on region, what campaign it was, what strategy the campaign was, uh, and then this is, over time, uh, we're looking at how we've distributed our marketing spend right across all those different um you see here all those different uh, strategies like cross-selling digital ads this is the sort of breakdown over time so really cool insight right like uh, the ability to um you know if you can get the data of all of the and, and the data doesn't even have to be that complex right so you know you can you can gather the data in many different ways now and uh, if you can have some imagination around how you capture all this information then feeding it into power bi you know isn't too difficult and then getting to getting to this point where you can analyze your your um your effectiveness uh, around your spend is is not not you know not too difficult right then down in this visualization we're looking at our costs and how that is performed versus our sales so you know we've got our advertising cost down here and here we've got our sales um and it looks like this is this is this is sort of like the average so you see here this is basically our uh you know say we're a an online product right this is really our gross margin in between here on average and so that's an that's you know it's an interesting way to evaluate you know think about you're not you're an online business your e-commerce e site you're selling some sort of digital product well the 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 big uh, important thing you need to look at there is what is the cost to acquire a customer versus what you're actually um, getting from that customer right what's the what's the, what's the sort of arbitrage difference well this is basically showing that insight where we're getting the full cost of our campaigns over time and we're evaluating how many sales we're making um, over time as well this is this at the moment is it's sort of at a daily granularity so very relevant to say an e-commerce e website right and then we've got some other metrics down here now let's have a quick look at the, at the key data in this particular model right and I guess the other thing that is good about showcasing this sort of thing is I get this question a lot. Um, you know, historically, a lot of the examples that we've done in Enterprise DNA have, have have revolved around a very common sales sort of data set, and I get a lot of um, yeah, feedback. You know, why don't you use why don't you use this data set, or, or is this relevant to my data set? And the and the answer to that is once you really get into data, like any sort of data, it it, it can all be evaluated or it can all be structured in exactly the same way a lot of the all the techniques that you use in one data set can be easily moved to a data set so if you if you can become a really high quality power bi developer someone who's you know very good analytically inside of power bi know how to use you know all the four key pillars around good quality power bi development 
you can really analyze anything. You can be a versatile analyst across any business, any data set, right? It is such a powerful skill. It is such a valuable skill. Um, so you see here, you know, this this really showcases the waterfall technique, just like um, just like I've showcased many many times, uh, you know, uh, over the years around you know how you structure it. What's the best practice I, I feel around structuring a model inside a Power BI? Now, the sort of key table that we want to have a look at here is this marketing campaigns table, right? So let's just have a look at how simple this particular table actually actually is, and and enables us to create such awesome insights, right? And so we've got. Uh, in this data set, we've got when a campaign starts and when it ends. And then we've just got what it costs and what is the estimated cost per day, right? So I think this is actually a, a calculated column, right? Um, so we've got, I think this is, a, so a million dollars was over this particular time in this particular region. It ran for this this amount of days. We can also um, campaign index. Right, right, yep. Okay, um, so so yeah, so look, this is just a random data set of all of the, so there is nothing stopping, like as a business, think think about how you can capture this data. I mean, this is this is just, your, you know, your sales might be coming through any number of software. It could be coming through like, you know, just, I'm just thinking online here, like Stripe or Shopify or um, however, you know, you, you, you make sales and, and anything these days, you know, a lot of a lot of sales are happening online, right? So everyone's using the same technologies. Um, but if you wanted to sort of collate all your information around your advertising, well, why why wouldn't you know, this all, all you're doing here is you're capturing um, sort of nine columns of information, right? And you could just create like a power app to, to capture that information. You could put this in a spreadsheet. This is, you know, this is not not difficult. And then you can eventually create a report that is as detailed as this and really gives you up to date, you know, real time information that can um, create immense benefits for your business. You know, the, the way you direct uh, investment in your marketing strategies, the way you attribute your performance uh, of strategies over time. Uh, how you can compare one region strategies to another region strategies and optimize for that. Like, um, you know, by the way we've created this, we can click into a different region here and then we can see, okay, well, this is how we've distributed spend over time. This is the, um, the, the performance. And then this is another key metric, sort of like a KPI here where we've got sales to marketing spend, right? And so this is, this is sort of like the return on our investment. 2.68 for this particular region. Let's have a look at another region. What's this? 4.05. So it's not. It's better. Uh, this region is 3.9, um, 3.93. So this is yeah. I just love these sort of KPI metrics that come from this um, this 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 type of analysis. The the the, w the way that you can model model and evaluate things within Power BI. Okay. So I think that's all I really wanted to cover. Um, at length there. Uh, in terms of some of the calculations, one of the main, uh, actually, this is this is what I'll touch on. Just in terms of uh, this technique here, right, where you have, you know, what we're what we're effectively doing here is we have this data that we've captured for all our marketing campaigns, and it's sort of got a start and an end date. But our sales information is generally uh, every single day, right? So we're we, or revenue or transactions, right? We're, we're getting those all the time. Um, but marketing campaigns is sort of on a different, it's, it's sort of not, we're not breaking this down sort of by every day within the, the raw data set. But what we do need to do here, and this is one of the, one of the um, key things to making this work, is we need to break out the spend. So this, mark, you, see, you see marketing start and campaign, campaign start and campaign end. We basically need to flip these into a daily cost. So we've evaluated the daily cost here. But we, 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 we basically need to extend this daily cost across the 99 days that we actually see it so that we can get a like for like comparison where we can aggregate up all of our spend across all of our different strategies uh, all together versus the actual actual sales that we're making on uh, on any particular day. Right. And the key technique we need to use there is what's called the events and progress pattern. So I've covered this. I have covered this before. Um, I'm just going to. I'm just going to find it here. Let's just have a quick marketing costs. Ah, okay. This is the main. This is the main technique, right? Marketing cost per day. 
so basically what we're trying to do and this is this is the same sort of pat formula pattern that you could use to break anything which has a start and an end date any data that has a start and an end date and you want to break it down into a per day um, on a on a per day basis like how much it is evaluates to you on a per your per day this is the technique you want to use okay so let's just um, I'm going to copy this I'm going to show you let's just jump into the analyst hub here uh, let's go to the DAC cleanup tool let's see let's see if this for this formats in a slightly different way okay yeah so this, this is probably a little bit easier to read right so definitely check out the DAX cleanup tool for formatting your formulas really quickly as well um, I think it's going to help you a huge amount um, and just in terms of like understanding how DAX works etc uh, but what we're doing here is we are saying okay well on if on, on every single day so we're wo working through a table on every single day does that particular ca campaign sit on that day that is what this part of the formula is doing does it sit on that day if it does sit on that day then we want to count up marketing costs but not we're not just evaluating one campaign here we're, we're actually evaluating multiple campaigns all at once okay and that's what when you put this in the right uh, context of a date um, of the, a date context that's how you evaluate your total marketing costs not just for what you know not just a singular marketing cost for one campaign so I'll see if I've got it actually set up here estimated marketing costs here right so it's, it's saying on any particular day go and look through this particular table um, this marketing campaigns table and sort of evaluate is do any of these campaigns all the way down this list do they are they open are they open on that particular day if they are then we want to estimate what the cost is on that particular day for all of those campaigns that we're running all of those campaigns and strategies that we're running okay so um i've enjoyed this i've enjoyed going through something a little bit different just like evaluating you know just just thinking how to think more analytically about what you're doing right and that's i want to do i want to do more of these i think that there's you know huge benefit in just sort of that critical thinking around how to actually use power bi um and you know we've obviously got a whole um, variety of different showcases and, and things like that so there's just so much more you can talk about uh, and, and I really want to um, you know in, in inspire you around what you can achieve in mul multiple different facets of Power BI development right there's just you can use Power BI if you have da if you have data you can use Power BI that's what it comes down to you know there is nothing you cannot do from an analytical perspective I don't believe it is it is that that, that good at all okay all the best everyone um, enjoyed it thanks for thanks for tuning in um, you know, definitely check out the showcase page if you want to have a play around with this one, just so you can sort of see the see the possibilities. Um, you know, you, there's there's a lot to learn um, by, by by just doing that. Okay, if you enjoyed it, um, definitely throw the video a like. Really appreciate it, as always. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. All the best.